us. There's a hundred meters until we get to sea level. This is a place that it's been impossible to get to in the past. You've probably heard China described as the world's infrastructure powerhouse. It's not an insult, it's admiration. China has transformed its landscape faster than almost any nation in modern history, building record-breaking bridges, tunnels, railways, and megacities at a pace the world can barely keep up with. As one of the largest developing countries, China has used infrastructure as the engine driving its economic rise. Its engineers have become legends in the construction world, the people who turn impossible blueprints into real working megastructures for a population that's rapidly expanding and constantly evolving. In today's video, we're diving into the incredible stories behind these massive engineering feats, the innovations, the challenges, and the sheer scale that make them stand out globally. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest deep dives. And as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts Share your opinions on these remarkable Chinese engineering achievements down in the comments. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you want to prosper, build roads first. And it couldn't be more true. Transportation is the backbone of economic growth, the channel through which people, goods, and opportunities move freely. Engineering is the force that shapes that movement, propelling civilizations forward and rewriting what humanity can achieve. Today, as China stands as the world's second largest economy and the leading manufacturing powerhouse, it is also proving something else to the world, its unmatched engineering strength. China's rise has been marked by a wave of breathtaking megaprojects that reveal not just national capability, but national ambition. Amid global economic changes and China's next phase of development, these colossal undertakings defined by immense scale, extreme technical difficulty, enormous investment, and long-term influence span every major field, transportation, construction, water management, energy, and even national defense. In barely 10 years, China has built 45,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. For comparison, Japan and Europe took nearly three times longer to develop their networks, and their total length is only a fraction of China's. Today, China's high-speed rail system is larger than the rest of the world combined. Technologically, it has moved beyond importing technology and has now entered the era of high-speed rail 4.0, leading innovation globally. Then there are the megastructures that have stunned engineers worldwide. The Three Gorges Dam, the largest and most complex hydropower project ever built. The South to North Water Diversion Project, the most ambitious interbasin water transfer in human history, and the Nansha Island Reclamation, often described as a miracle shaped by human hands. And among China's engineering marvels, one project stands out for pushing the limits of what humanity can build, the world's largest island-to-land connection project. Seen from the air, it's one of the boldest engineering feats ever attempted. At the center of it all is the Sihu Man Bridge a 1,650-meter main span soaring over the sea in a single sweep. For 10 consecutive years, it held the title of China's longest span bridge. But Sihu Man is only one link in a vast chain. Joined by the Jintong, Taiyo Man, Shangjiu Man, and Sangong bridges, this mega network stretches nearly 50 kilometers, stitching once isolated islands into a unified region. Nine years later, the 8-kilometer Yushan Bridge rose to connect Yushan Island with Daishan Island, another milestone in China's continuing quest to conquer geography with engineering. Twelve years later, the 25-kilometer Zhoshan Daishan Bridge finally linked Daishan Island to Zhoshan's main island. Combined with the 32.5-kilometer Donghai Bridge connecting Shanghai to Xiaoyanshan Island and the Lihung Highway Bridge now under construction, a vast network of expressways has emerged across the sea, creating new land right above the waves. The impact has been transformative. China gained the world's busiest cargo port, the second-largest offshore green petrochemical hub, and its very first major fishing ground. This is far more than a bridge. It's a super connection that reshaped the coastline and redefined the limits of modern engineering. After mastering cross-sea bridges, China turned to an even more formidable challenge, undersea tunnels. And now you're about to witness the world's longest undersea high-speed rail tunnel, 
the Jintong Undersea Tunnel, stretching 16.18 kilometers in total, with 11.21 kilometers carved beneath the seabed. This project stands as a true mega-engineering achievement. The tunnel's cross-section reaches a massive 14.5 meters in diameter, as tall as a five-story building, big enough to fit dual high-speed rail tracks. At the heart of construction is the colossal shield machine Ding Hai, equipped with a cutter head nearly 15 meters wide. Its steel blades slice through rock and soil like the jaws of a mechanical giant, guided with pinpoint precision by China's Beidou Satellite Navigation System as it advances towards another shield machine, Yangzhou, approaching from the opposite side. Deep beneath the seabed, these two machines will eventually meet with millimeter-level accuracy. Why is the Jintong Tunnel considered the world's number one? The answer comes down to a single word, speed. Designed for trains traveling at 250 km per hour, it leaves famous tunnels like the Channel Tunnel, 160 km per hour, and Japan's Seikon Tunnel, 140 km per hour, far behind. In terms of high-speed rail standards, no tunnel on Earth matches Jintong's scale and complexity. But length isn't the hardest part. Running 78 meters below sea level, the tunnel must endure immense water pressure and pass through 28 geological transitions, shifting between hard rock and soft soil. To handle this, engineers made major upgrades. One, water injection pipes on the cutter head for sticky clay. Two, reinforced sealing systems for extreme pressure. And three, a boosted drive system for long distance stability. Excavation followed a dual shield strategy. The imbalance wasn't a mistake. It was necessary. One side sits on rock, the other on softer layers, making symmetrical digging impossible. Engineers chose a stable rock zone as the meeting point to ensure a safe, precise breakthrough. Precision was critical. Even the smallest surveying error can multiply underground, potentially leaving two tunnels that never meet. To eliminate this risk, six Beidou satellites fed real-time corrections to the shield machine's auto-navigation systems, reducing alignment error to just two centimeters. Then came the final puzzle, removing the machines. Once the cutters meet underground, there's no open exit ahead and no way to retreat. The solution was a uniquely Chinese technique known as shedding the shell. Workers disassemble the machines piece by piece and pull them out, while the massive steel casings remain inside the tunnel as permanent reinforcement. According to the plan, the Jintong Undersea Tunnel will be fully bored through by the end of 2026 and open to high-speed rail traffic in 2028. When complete, it will cut travel time between Ningbo and Zhoushan to just 30 minutes, ending the island's long era without railway access. And although it's not stated outright, many believe this tunnel represents a much larger vision, a full-scale rehearsal for a future Taiwan Strait Tunnel. So how advanced is China's underwater tunnel technology really? To answer that, let's examine another engineering marvel, the undersea tunnel section of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. Here's the big question. If the sea is full of water, how do you build a tunnel underneath it? And how did Chinese engineers construct a 6.7 kilometer undersea tunnel buried 40 meters below the ocean? Let's break it down. 12 years later, the 25 kilometer Zhushan Daishan Bridge finally connected Daishan Island to Zhushan's main island, along with the 32.5 kilometer Donghai Bridge linking Shanghai to Xiaoyang Island and the Liuhang Highway Bridge now rising over the sea. An enormous web of expressways has taken shape across the ocean, creating new lands suspended above the waves. And the transformation has been extraordinary. This network helped China build the world's busiest cargo port, the second largest offshore green petrochemical base, and its very first major fishing ground. This isn't just a bridge system, it's a super connection that reshaped the coastline and pushed modern engineering into an entirely new league. But after conquering massive cross-sea bridges, China set its sights on an even greater challenge, undersea tunnels. The Bohai Strait Tunnel is one of China's most ambitious transportation projects ever proposed, a megatunnel designed to link the Laodong Peninsula with the Shandong Peninsula directly beneath the Bohai Sea. If completed, it would become the longest undersea tunnel system in the world, surpassing even the Channel Tunnel in Europe. The full route is planned to stretch over 120 kilometers, with more than 90 kilometers running underwater, making it a project of unprecedented scale and complexity. What makes the Bohai Strait Tunnel so astonishing is the environment it must overcome. The Bohai Sea is shallow but extremely active with unpredictable currents, seismic activity, and heavily layered geology beneath the seabed. Engineers would need to bore through hard granite, soft sediment, and fault zones, all while preventing water pressure from collapsing the tunnel. 
To solve this, China's plan involves a combination of immersed tube sections, deep board shield tunnels, and emergency access passages running parallel to main traffic tube. The tunnel is expected to support high-speed rail, allowing passengers to travel from Dalian to Yantai in under 40 minutes, compared to the current 8-hour ferry ride. This connection would merge two major economic regions, strengthen northern China's logistical network, and potentially open a new corridor for Eurasian freight move. While the Bohai Strait Tunnel is still in phased preparation and geological research, the concept alone has stunned global engineers. If China succeeds, it will redefine the limits of undersea construction and mark one of the greatest engineering achievements in modern history.